Ever since 2018, SpaceX has launched over 7,000 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit, LEO, and this is part of its ambitious plan to provide global internet coverage. While these satellites have revolutionised connectivity, their end-of-life disposal has introduced a new phenomenon, unprecedented satellite re-entries. In January 2025 alone, more than 120 Starlink satellites deorbited, and this created a spectacular yet concerning shower of fireballs in the sky. SpaceX's Starlink satellites, these are designed to operate for approximately five years before being deorbited. As of February 2025, over 500 first generation Starlink satellites have re-entered the atmosphere, with an average of four or five burning up into Earth's atmosphere every single day. This rate is unprecedented in the history of space exploration. The deorbiting process involves using electric thrusters to lower the satellites to an altitude of about 155 miles, where atmospheric drag causes them to disintegrate upon re-entry. The recent surge in re-entries is partly due to the retirement of older models to make way for newer, more advanced satellites. Additionally, SpaceX has proactively deorbited satellites with potential hardware flaws, and this is to prevent them from becoming space debris. For example, last year in February, the company announced plans to deorbit 100 satellites, and this was due to an unspecified defect in the satellites. While the re-entries create visually stunning fireballs, they also raise significant environmental concerns. When Starlink satellites burn up, they release metallic vapours into the atmosphere, and this includes aluminium oxide into the atmosphere. A single, first-generation Starlink satellite produces 30 kilograms, which is 66 pounds, of aluminium oxide, and this is a compound known to degrade the ozone layer. Studies have shown that the concentration of these oxides increased eightfold between 2016 and 2022, with the recent surge in re-entries exasperating the problem. NASA's WB-57 aircraft collected aerosols at 60,000 feet over Alaska in February 2023, and this revealed that 10% of the particles contained aluminium and other metals that burnt up from satellites. The phenomenon has been described as a giant, uncontrolled experiment in atmospheric chemistry, with potential long-term consequences for Earth's atmosphere. Another factor that is influencing Starlink re-entries is geomagnetic activity. The intense solar storms of Solar Cycle 25 has accelerated the orbit decay of satellites in very low Earth orbit. For instance, the geomagnetic storm on October the 10th, 2024. This caused the premature re-entry of Starlink 1089, which re-entered 10 days earlier than predicted. Such events highlights the vulnerability of satellites to space weather and the need for further research into the interaction between geomagnetic storms and orbital decay. Nonetheless, these re-entries have captivated skywatchers all across the globe. In January 2025, the fiery demise of Starlink 5693 over the Midwest of the United States sparked 62 fireball reports to the American Meteor Society. Witnesses described this event as fireworks in the sky, with some comparing it to a meteor shower. While these displays are awe-inspiring, they also serve as a reminder of humanity's growing footprint in space. The increasing rate of Starlink re-entries, this underscores the challenges of managing large satellite constellations. While SpaceX has taken steps to mitigate space debris, the environmental impact of satellite burn-up remains a pressing concern. Scientists 
have called for stricter regulations and further studies to assess the long-term effects of metallic pollutants in our atmosphere. Mera, the vulnerability of satellites to geomagnetic storms highlights the need for improved space weather forecasting and satellite design. As Solar Cycle 25 continues to intensify, the risks to satellite operations and re-entries are likely to grow more intense. The unprecedented re-entries of Starlink satellites marks a new chapter in the era of mega constellations. While these events showcase the technological advancements, the technological achievements of SpaceX, they also raise critical questions about the sustainability of space activities. As humanity continues to explore and utilise space, it is imperative to balance innovation with environmental stewardship and regularity oversight. The fiery trails of Starlink satellites serves as both a spectacle and a cautionary tale, reminding us that what goes up must come down and that the consequences of our actions in space extend far beyond the stars themselves. As of today, February 6, 2025, the most recent re-entry of a Starlink satellite occurred on January 25th, 2025. The Aerospace Cooperation's re-entry database lists several Starlink satellites that re-entered the Earth's atmosphere on that date, and that includes Starlink 1630, Starlink 5693, Starlink 1138. These satellites were launched in 2020, and their re-entry time and date were highly predictable by the SpaceX crew. Starlink 1138 was launched on February the 17th in the year 2020, with a predicted re-entry time of January 25th, 2025, and that occurred with a 19 hours swing window. These re-entries are part of the routine deorbiting process for Starlink satellites that have reached the end of their operational life. The exact locations of these re-entries are not specified, but such events are typically planned to occur over uninhabited areas or oceans to minimise any potential risk. SpaceX have launched several Starlink missions already this year, with more planned in the coming weeks. Each mission typically deploys about 22 satellites, and based on the current launch cadence, SpaceX appears to be maintaining a frequent launch schedule for its Starlink constellation. The total number of Starlink satellites planned for deployment in 2025 has not been publicly specified, but there are currently over 7,000 of these in orbit, and this is set to quadruple at least in the coming years.